and the ancestors are looking out for us. They God Hayes is disposable, man. Okay, you see that chair right there? See how big it is? Yeah. Now look at the Pope chair under. Scroll down, look at the Pope chair under. Never yeah. have it been made yeah. so clear. Young TV. Young We running the game right TV. now. Young TV. Time to take over. You know what I mean? And oh. he, mentioned, he mentioned Sal, right? He mentioned what Sal told him. And I asked Kush, I said, yo, did you yourself experience any of this? He said, no. I said, did it ever dawn on you that it's possible that people like Sal were put in position to go in and speak to all of y'all, all right, and be, tell all of y'all these stories? You know what I mean? And, and, and he didn't want to deal with that. But no, he was saying Pop did it. But I asked, so, okay, cool. Did you experience or witness any of this? He said, no. I said, well, damn, I, I, how, can, how can we deal with this? this you're not the horse. It, we, we're talking about coming out of the horse's mouth, and you didn't have these experiences. So why are you speaking with so much conviction against him? Me and Umi raised Sal. Well, he was in and out of jail a lot, so I don't know how that was possible. Um, but that's neither here nor there. I, see a, I guess she did a great I don't, job I don't think of you making understand. him a criminal. Kush, I know you <laughs> this, and Kush, you don't talk to me about the feds, right? I know you understand how this shit works. You don't have to your be raised in the, you don't you have to be raised, raised in the FBI, you know what I'm saying, to to, to uh, uh collaborate with them. Nick, all right? Nick, all you have to do is be facing time. Them folks approach you and be like, well, you know, or some niggas will do this. Some niggas will be facing time and they'll approach the FBI and be like, yo, I'll give up this or I'll go and work on this. I know these people closely, or I know this is going on. Da, 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 da. That's what a lot of y'all were doing. Cause in truth, a lot of people were actually facing fair time for crimes that they committed. You know what I mean? Or in the feds. They were already in jail or in prison. All right? Interestingly enough, around the time that Pops went in, everybody got out. Yep. All y'all got out. Our sentences was 30 years or 25 years. You know what I'm saying? But all of a sudden, soon Pop go in, everybody get out. You with me? So you know that. You don't have to be no, you don't have to be raised up in the feds or raised up as no foster child, you know what I mean, to be sent into no organization. Everybody forget about William O'Neill. Here's the thing. This is why I think it's so hard for you to understand that COINTEL Pro never ended. Because William O'Neill with the Black Panthers, that was a different type of science, okay? Where they were actually on the ground and doing a lot of the things when it came to uh, uh, the politics and the legalities and fighting on behalf of the citizens and all of that. So you see that time period, you think, okay, the government was able to infiltrate that because it was easier. William had a certain amount of time that he was supposed to be given, and they came to him and said, yo, if you do this, then we ain't going to give you this time. But if you don't do this, then we're going to make you serve 25, 27 years. All right? So that's for the Black Panthers. And people looking at right knowledge that happened with Ansar Allah, Nuwapu, the Nubian Islamic uh, Hebrew days, right? They're looking at that. They say, yo, this is too high level. Ain't no way Shaitan would have been able to infiltrate that. Okay? I'm telling you from being born into this movement. Yes, there is. There were so many ways through so many people, okay, that these federal agents okay, or the Central Intelligence Agency was able to get in, 
all right, into the center and find intelligence. And they use the children. They use people who listen. The ones who knew the whole Nuwapian language, okay, you got to side eye them, all right? Mm -hmm. And you supposed to side yep. eye everybody. But the motherfuckers who was the closest to Pops, you got to side eye them. The oh, ones who were the perimeter, my Umi was in the class when Pops was saying, I know who the Asians are. It's Asians all around me. And yep. she said he turned around and was yep. pointing at the perimeter. Yep. The niggas and who was supposed to be his security. He knew it. You he understand? Pops had security around him and still carried a gun. Yep. Do the math. Pops had security around him and still knew that there was a possibility, like when Al Sharpton showed up on the land, he delayed his coming out. Yep. He delayed coming out. Why would he delay? Uh, because there was something that needed to pass over, an assassination attempt. And yep. Pops wouldn't come out. You know what I mean? Why was Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson on the land that day? What was really being said? Right. And, Even, to, and not for so nothing, ahead. I wanted to say yesterday with that whole live when people was talking about the Nation of Islam, not for nothing, my pops had mad attempts on his life from the Nation of Islam. Mad attempts. Mad attempts. Um, you know, I, I just, I thought about that yesterday when I was like, no, nah, you know, but I didn't want to, you know, remember when that, when they was talking about documents and oh yeah, the, 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 Nation of Islam paperwork name was on this paperwork too, and I'm like, how that happen? <laughs> you know, I'm just I, it, that was weird. When I was young, you know, um, we were they was at the Buttercup Lounge. A couple of his kids were that was at the Buttercup Lounge, and they was literally sitting there talking about how they was going to do this, that they was going to take pops down, and they literally asked me to join them. I was like, no. So with the reason who, why who, me and who, Jacob who, never who, had a relationship who asked you to join was because. Them? Jacob, Jacob did, Jacob, and I told him no, and he said, "Well, disown me as a brother," and I said, "Okay, bye." And notice, exactly. notice is me and Jacob ain't never have a relationship. Y'all ain't never noticed that. Yeah, fact. But what you said, he he told you to join what? He told me to, it, so at the Buttercup Lounge, they was all talking about how they was gonna take pops down. I was young, you know what I'm saying? I so I I even got a picture of me that day. Somebody sent this picture to me. Like my, as a matter of fact, my mom said my sister Leah had all these pictures because you know my sister Leah was there. It was it was her birthday. It was Fatima's birthday, and it was uh, Besma's birthday. They was throwing a birthday party at this place called the Buttercup Lounge on Adolfa Street in Brooklyn, New York, right? And and I when I went there, you know, because I was invited. When I went there, I think I don't think Izzy was there. No, it was it was Isak there. Ish was there. Um, Jacob was there, uh, um, Ernest, uh, Yasmin, not our, not our family, Yasmin. There was this girl that Fatima used to hang out with. They used to have this salon called Nappy Roots over there on Flatbush Avenue in Brooklyn, New York. They, they were sitting there talking about how they was going to do this, that, that they was going to take Pops down. And he asked me, he was like, well, since you just left the land, because this is when I just, when, um, I had got moved when I had got transported from off the land and I ended up in the streets. And then when I ended up some, I ended up with this lady that took me in and I stayed with her, you know what I'm saying? They was, and I, when they asked me to go to that uh, thing, I went there. So these people ain't seen me in years. And they was like, yeah, well you had just left the land. So you could come with us and you could say this and you could say that. And I was like, no, I'm not doing that against my father. Like, are you people crazy? Yeah. And he was like, look real quick. Look well, real. Then, and then he was like, well, then you might well stay in the streets. He was Crazy. like, I'll buy. He was like, I'll buy you a bit. He when he offered it to me, he was like, I'll buy you a Benz. I'll put you through school. I'll do all of that stuff. Whatever you need, I'll do it for you. He was like, all you got to do is do this. And I was like, no, I'm not doing that. That's I was crazy. like, no. And and I was like, and then he was like, well, you stay in the streets. So I stayed in the fucking streets. I want to say I appreciate that stance. You're not. You're choosing not to collaborate with with jacob may have been just a glitch that was needed you know what i'm saying to help pop out because they were coming to you they saw you as a power player and real corn here the truth has already been told y'all had negative shit to say against pop i gave you the benefit of the truth and said look were you there did you see anything for yourself and y'all said no so you don't know shit about what you're talking about Yo, not for nothing, not for nothing. I'm going to say something because after reading what he just texted, I said it didn't happen to me, but I was there. I told you that. But it's so interesting how you told me that you tried to convince me that it did happen to you.
You forgot about that conversation me and you had, Kush? Oh, I think you forgot about that conversation me and you had, Kush. Because you definitely tried to convince me that it happened to you. And look, but, and he you know, told me, he told what? me none of this. He said, he said, he said, none of that happened to him. You know so what? now look you at him. What? He tried to say I was there, but it happened. Nigga, I was there. Oh, I'm lying. Oh, what I'm you lying, about? bro. You're lying, Kush. Kush, you a liar. And I'm glad. I'm yo, glad yo. I see this. Yo, let's, you are. Let's... I knew you was a liar from the beginning, but I've always been very supportive of y'all. Let's not. Let's no not. No matter let's, what, because y'all were people that were raised in the community. We ain't fair enough. Let us speak. Right. Now I see, I see what it is. Y'all really, y'all, I, I don't know what y'all problem is. He ain't done nothing but help, help feed y'all. You know what I'm saying? When your parents didn't have no money to feed y'all, he took y'all off the street. Y'all wrong. All of y'all wrong. You know what? The spirit, y'all going to deal with the spirits. Trust me. A lot of y'all not going to be able to dream good. Watch. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you. you know no, it's already it's happening. Come after it's already Watch. happening. It's been Watch. happening. Kush, it's have you not had moments in your life, Kush, where you had to reach out? Real life devils. For that, because I remember he, I spoke to this man and he tried to convince me of this shit, yo. I remember that, cause that's mm. why I stopped talking mm. to you. Mm. That you forgot. That's why I, yo, that's wild, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. man. Let me go back to my Facebook messages with you, cause there was a lot of stuff even in Facebook messages that me and you back and forth. We not had an issue with anybody other than the ones who had an issue me? with pops. We niggas seen how hard I was going for pops. But out of nowhere, you just started going in on him. And I'm like, damn, how the nigga saying all this shit? And I remember you saying you had just, I don't know if it was his auntie, something like that. I can't remember the, whichever one it was, but it was a lady that he had reached out to, right? And he was saying, I don't like myself. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, I want you to pray for me, something to that effect. But I know he said, I don't like myself, right? And I remember him saying, it's almost like the opening of the mouth ceremony. What would cause somebody, a lot of people, uh, dealt with internal issues because of what they were saying against pops. A lot of people sick now, and they're gonna keep people... dealing with them issues. Oh yeah, yeah, you know I mean, gonna keep dealing with them issues. Right. Ain't gonna get no better for them. He always be saying to me, he be like, "Um, you need security," because he always say that, say that to me, like, "Yo, um, you need security." Like one day, he, he, so I already know he always say that to me because he be like, "Yo, you've been through a lot." Right. Is it? Is yeah. We can... Go ahead. Yeah. I gotta say, man, and now all these motherfuckers coming out of the everybody that's guilty. Everybody, they, 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 they gotta come, they gotta come forth. Yeah, yep, yep. That's what I told people. Anybody who's walking with me know what's going on. When I call your name, I'm not calling you out. I'm calling you forth. You've been summoned, right? So you already put on record. Yeah, you don't fuck with pop. Why? Why would I? Why would I? I don't want you to have a platform. I don't want you to speak against him. Right. There have been a lot of people that spoke against him. You know what I mean? There's plenty of people speaking out against him. There's not enough people that were speaking in his favor, clearing his name making it loud about the truth. But now, here's what I'm grateful for, all right? That because of how loud I was and am, okay, more people, like, we, I opened the way where, yeah, you're right, Uma, we got the platforms, okay? Mm -hmm. And now y'all can bring this shit out where look at how long Brother Polite had a platform, mm -hmm. but when they asked him, he, he left the shadow of the doubt over Pop Nate. That's because he, that's because he was in cahoots with them. That's why. Mm. His so their whole purpose is to change the narrative of the teaching so that our people do not get, you know, that so that our people don't see the truth and what's happening. And like so so for example, you know, my father, like I said, was speaking about spirituality, never got to that point. You know what I'm saying? So for as long as they got people running around in circles and singing tones that ain't that's all off tones, they ain't never gonna get on their higher frequency and their higher vibrations. They won't. You know what I'm saying? So they really just distracting people with this new bullshit that they're making up. You know what I'm saying? They got a whole new teaching, a whole new all of that. You know what I'm saying? These books, everything. So, you know, it's, it's, it, trust me, it's a lot. Their whole purpose is to destroy the upliftment of the Black community. That is their whole purpose. Did you ever have an encounter um, after the situation or before the situation happened on May 8, 2002 when it, when it came to the kidnapping? Did you ever have an encounter with Nikki Lopez uh, of her indicating herself and explaining what her role was? Did she ever say anything or slide anything to you? You Uma? talking to, you talking to yeah. me? No, I just knew she was a damn weirdo on the land. She was a, I, see, I seen her touching on kids when I was young. Mm. I seen her doing weird shit, sneaking out of 103 to go play with the boys and stuff like that behind trees and stuff like that. I seen that weird shit. Then people was talking about, how about this? 
the the STDs that these people was talking about every every weekend on the land. Pops used to let them let the teenagers go up the hill and and play on the stage and all of that stuff. And there was people coming from off the land that they were sleeping around with and doing all kinds. It was all kinds of freak fests going on up there. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And and pops and pops used to be down the hill in the house minding his business. And to the point where he had to stop them kids from going up there on the hill, uh, up the hill. You know where the pot, where the stage was. Cause you remember it was like a walk from where the houses was all the way up towards the stage because it was kind of separate. Mm -hmm. Nah, these people they was doing all kinds of crazy stuff up there. So and she was and 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 trust and believe you me, she was another one that was messing around with them. Nikki was messing around. I I wouldn't be surprised if she was messing around with um with Kush because she was messing around with a lot no, of No, listen, Kush, if Kush, you're indicating somebody as a uh, a uh, a rapist. Yeah, exactly. Or by law. That's a woman that's raping children. Women, women is raping. If a woman is doing that to kids, she raping exactly. children. Exactly by law. Okay, so Kush, yes or no? You said that to me. Now y'all know when I ask these niggas yes or no questions. Okay, the answer is yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or most of the time is yes. Or when they say that answer is me telling you, I'm indicating and showing you this shit is a hundred percent real. Like, but let let's see if they gonna stand on it. Yes or no? Did you tell me? That you was fucking Nicky and you was and you was fourteen years old, because it was bragging. And when he wasn't saying it in a negative way, but the law the law don't give a fuck if you were saying negative or positive. You with me? So it adds up, don't it? That Habib uh, Habiba Washington was able to say that Jacob York was able to approach all of them and say, "We know what you did last summer. We know what you did, mm. hey, Nikki. We know what you did, Habiba. All right, all right. If, if you don't want to go to jail for these crimes." Okay, you might want to collaborate uh, uh, with me against uh, uh, Dr. York. And y'all told me, Iz said it, you said it, or oh, actually Iz said it, and it's, uh, his, whoever his, uh, the sister was around him said it, that they heard Jacob York say in, the, in their presence that he'll shoot Pops in the face. Okay, Dr. York had a phone call where he was saying uh, uh, Jacob York told him because he wouldn't put money behind Lil' Kim that he mm -hmm. was going to shoot him in the face. Right, he said. He said, "No." He said, "I'm gonna I'm come and shoot you in the head." That's what he said. He said, "I'm gonna come and shoot you in the head. I'm gonna come to the land, shoot you in the head." He was upset. He said, six months after he told Jacob he wasn't gonna put money behind Lil Kim, he called him. He called down to the land like, "I'm gonna come up there and shoot you in the head." Right? Okay, cool. That that's on phone call. All right. So some reason these people want their father gone. You with me? There, there's a, there's a different type of uh, energy moving there. That's why he said, "If that ain't the devil, I don't know who it is." Now. Make this make sense to me, all right? This is Nikki Lopez, okay? Nikki Lopez 19. She got me blocked. You feel what I'm saying? So this is Nikki Lopez 19. Right here, say, it's yours. She follow him. Make that make sense to me. How this is the son of somebody who you said did all these things. If this person did all these things to me, I don't want anything to do with him or his family. You know what I mean? If this person did all these things to, to uh, my sister or my brother, or my, I don't want anything to do with the, the person or their family. All right? So that's one thing in itself. And then the question would be, okay, this person still follows Is York. All right? Well, then why does Is York still follow them? All right? Until recently, I guess he just, he just unfollowed. Let's see if it's still in there. Nope, he follows her. He, he follows her. You see right there? You see that? face looking off to the side that's nikki lopez okay why does is york still follow nikki lopez this person brought a whole i was at is your house and he was showing me the id channel documentary we sat there and watched it together and you said on file all right it's your you were saying nikki is lying you're saying she wasn't there for that no that's not the answer of law days that's not true that's not true he said they railroaded my father okay why you still follow her why you still follow her? It doesn't add up. And why did she block me? I don't even know her. None of this adds up. You with me? So nobody's lying. Nobody's making this up about no cush. And none of the names I say. Only thing is, people didn't know when it was gonna, the time was going to come. But I told people the time was going to come. Well, all these names got to come for us. And we want to know, what did you do? What was your role in it? Okay. When I go back to the Nawabianfast.com, 
why was it? And then look, these people like who's being said. These people mm. are the same ones who got big roles in in uh, in the land now or in the uh, uh, nation now. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So this is another after David of somebody who mentioned Abigail uh, Habib, which is also Habiba Washington. Uh, La Roche, uh, uh, these names, Jacob, of course, and they were talking about how they was having sex with, you see? 10, 11 years old. So I got a couple of people that, that sent me information speaking about the stuff that happened. They they, they even spoke about uh, Abigail and all of them messing with children as young as five and six years old. Mm -hmm. And Pop was saying, he called her name. And then what he, he said on a phone call, and I'm gonna I'm put all this together. One guy said that he was tied. One guy said that he was tied up and sodomized by them multiple times. Mm. We'll, we'll be able it's, to put it's, it's very, together. It's very, it's very gross. Everybody, like listening, boys, reading the stuff yours. is grotesque. It's very grotesque. He was the sacrifice. He took. He take. He taken down for everybody. Exactly. He's getting taken down for everybody else. He tried to protect his kids, which he probably, he shouldn't have. Mm. He should have threw them niggas under the bus. Mm -hmm. He should have threw them niggas under the bus. You see my ass throwing all them niggas. I'm throwing my aunt <laughs> under the bus. Everybody getting thrown under that damn bus. Somebody asked me something about Kidar. So I used to work for Kidar Entertainment. You know, and I never got an opportunity to talk about that yesterday because that was going to get bought up um, about how, how he used to slander my father and make jokes about it. And be like, yeah, those his kids. Look, look, that's his kid. Yeah, they, 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 they probably was conceived out of pedophilia or something like that. They he used to make jokes about that shit. Mind you, my father is the reason why he's where he's at right now. If it wasn't for my father putting him through school, because his mom was too busy on the streets on drugs and and messing with women and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? He wouldn't be where he's at right now. And if you notice. Something Something about him, every contract he do with people be jinkies too. He then got sued a couple times. Cause they can't help it. Is, is it yeah, his mother major? is his mother is Waki. Waki is his mother. Mm. So and and the crazy part about it is I was working for him when he was filing for bankruptcy. He couldn't even mm. pay his workers. A lot of the money that the nation was given to to the clan mother was being given to them to sustain that lifestyle. But that's neither here nor there. Yeah, Jay Z was a part of the organization. He was yep. brought in through Jazzo. Yep. If you look at the, if you look at Jazzo video, the, the originator, you'll see Jay Z holding a picture of my pops, and Jacob is in the video too. I didn't. Yes. No, Jacob was in that video. Yeah, Jacob's in that video too. Yeah, take a look at that video. Yeah, Jacob, Jacob, he looked young in that video. That's because he wasn't so fat in mm. that video. But yeah, he's in that video. Um, the originator. Um, yeah, so a lot, my father, you, if you look on my page, you'll see a picture of my father with Russell Simmons mm. and they looking at, they is, is two women in the middle of them. And of course my pops is looking mad sharp in the, in the, in the picture, but Russell Simmons is right there. So yeah, all that, of that, yep. yeah, there's a, there's, you'll see that there's a connection with all of this. And even in the music industry, there's a lot of stuff that my father has done in the music industry people thought that you know he made his money majority off the organization no he didn't my father made money as a ghostwriter and making mm -hmm. uh music that's where he got most of his money he took his money and invested it into helping our community into helping our people and then when he started doing that is when people started turning on him because they yes. did not want him to be uplifting the black people when their whole purpose is to destroy our people so my father became a threat to all of these people. Yeah. Somebody say hey, Nas. Yeah. Nas is a student. Yeah. He and mentioned, so was Prodigy. He mentioned Dr. Melakazi York in the Triple Threat how, song. How about this? And so was Prodigy, who, who supposedly choked on an egg or something like that. Um, my father... My father was paying for his sickle cell treatment. Mm -hmm. My father, my father was doing a lot of good stuff for a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Even including having, um, he he was doing the, the Shriner thing and stuff. He was we was going to they was going to hospitals paying for children that had uh, cancer, leukemia. Sit, what's his name? Uh, uh, Sayed, who also passed, who has sickle cell anemia. My father was doing a lot of stuff that people just want to discredit him. 
you know, and it's sad, but you know, I got proof of a lot of this stuff too. I got pictures, you know what I'm saying, of them going to these places and, and doing all of these good deeds and stuff. I have, I still have a lot of that stuff. When he said, what kind of spell is mankind under? Only one who was talking about that is Dr. York. And in the Triple Threat song, he said he'll probably get shot. He said, because I talk like Dr. Malachi York. You know what I mean? That wasn't no random name to say. Kanye no, uh, Consequence no. Everybody, they, everybody knows. Everybody knows, y'all. It ain't yep. nothing little. Everybody, it's not, yeah, it's not, it's not something that nobody know. Everybody know. Every, it's just that people were told, if you say something, they, we gonna discredit yeah, you too. Yeah, you get black You gonna be discredited next. And you see how they just slowly taking people down one by one by one. You yep. know what I'm saying? Some of these people, they need to be taken down. And then there's those people that, you know, you'll pay attention. All they did was speak righteous music yep. or put out righteous yep. stuff. And those people are very limited in the industry. They make sure that, you know what I'm saying, that they're not up there where, you know, they, where it's uplifting the people. They make sure that they highlight people that are destroying our community. So, like, for example, you notice there was a big thing between Nas and Jay-Z. You get what I'm saying? And Jay-Z... He technically stole Jazz O, whole style, stole everything right. about him and became Jay-Z. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And of course, with the help of, you know, Junior Mafia, Biggie, and all of that, putting him on the tracks, which that's where Jacob come into play at. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because when you look at Little Kim's first album, Hardcore, Jacob's name is on that. Then yeah. he was they was also hanging out with junior mafia right there on fulton street mm -hmm. um in brooklyn new york and it wasn't just there they, they were biting off they were biting off krs1 uh it was, it was a lot of brothers who was giving props to the master teacher african bambada mm -hmm. okay yeah, that's a fact and that's how he and, went and, from the drug dealer because jay-z was pushing the drug dealing shit to the uh the mason drug dealer exactly. so now the esoteric uh, drug dealer. Yes. Okay. But all that drug uh, became. He, he just and may I it. add, not for nothing, I'm gonna I'm gonna say something because you know when I was a kid, I w I used to see some of this stuff too. You know, um, shit. You know that whole case that we see going on with Puff Daddy, that shit go with them too. They exactly. All, they all a part of that shit too. There was a girl named Charlie Baltimore that nobody talk about, and she was right there in the middle of all that shit too. That's, and, and she probably trying to dip and dodge at this point, but I'm sorry, honey, if I said your name, but your name need to be said, cause you know the truth. You know that these niggas was out here sniping these brothers. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what's going on. Y'all know what's going on. People know what's going on. Here goes something else people probably didn't pay attention to. Okay? And that's why I say, don't be surprised a letter to Jay-Z come. Okay? Cause a lot of stuff I know. Nas wasn't beefing with Jay-Z about no music shit. You know what I mean? It go a lot deeper. A lot of people, Nas had the platform, right? A lot of people, anyone else so interesting? Uh, Ish still cool with Jay-Z. Of course he is. And I know that from uh, from personal interaction and hearing the, com the conversation and him telling me how he ran back into Jay-Z not too long ago. And uh, Jay-Z was like, he, he, he said he had to reintroduce himself to Jay-Z. He was like, uh, I'm Ish. And he said, Jay-Z looked at him and was like, really Ish? <laughs> like, come on, dog. And look, and look, you know what I mean? like, but, but look, but where's jazz -O? Jazz, uh, no, Jazzo was in 2022. Jazzo was coming to uh, the family event, the August 12th event uh, uh, for Family Day, and he—I he, don't think it was August 12th. It might have been August 12th or 14th of that year, but he was supposed to be coming to Family Day. All right, Ish was telling me this. He never made it, but he was supposed to come. So they still—they—he still talked to Jazzo. You yeah. know what I mean? Jazzo, so I, I used to still talk. I, don't, I haven't spoken to him in a long time, but Jazzo has came to Bushwick to visit me before a couple times. Yeah, he knows what's going yeah. on so yeah, he do of course he do that's why i said even even puff daddy's ghostwriter me and him still talk to this day look okay so look we're gonna need all that we're gonna need all that yeah. <laughs> i say we better keep I'm putting I've, cases I've been, I've been on all puff you Daddy listen studios. look i've been in puff daddy studios where they say yo where, where he told me he said um don't drink nothing in this bitch. And I'm like, what you mean don't drink nothing yeah, in here? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Not even the water. He said, not even the water. Don't cook, don't drink nothing in here. Why would a nigga and, tell and, you? And Pep Daddy asked, Pep Daddy asked one time, he said, he said, who's that girl right there? He was like, who got this girl in here? And he was like, oh, she with me. Yeah. And he was like, who is she? He, he was like, oh, that's Dr. Malachi Z. York's daughter. And he was like, oh, okay. And left it alone. Didn't say nothing yeah. after that. 
Yeah, knew exactly, so Puff, Puff, knew exactly Puff, who the hell my father was. Exactly. Y'all hear it now? You getting it now? You see how no, deep it go now? They knew exactly who my father was. Do you get what I'm saying? Y'all got to go listen to uh, God Incarnates every 25,000 years. Okay? Go listen to God Incarnates every 25,000 years on YouTube. You're going to hear Dr. York mention hip-hop as a movement. Okay? He's going to mention Tupac. All right, he's gonna be a lot of stuff people don't know. Uh, Pops was behind a lot of shit. The only thing is, Tupac never made it to the land. He was never able to get one of the books in his hand. The one who was supposed to give him his book was my dad. My dad oh. told me this in 2021. He was supposed to, get, you know, remember this young elder, right? Right. He, he was supposed to give Tupac the book, Who is God? But he didn't give it to him. I'm telling you, if my dad would have given Tupac that book, I wouldn't need to be here. Because Tupac would have made it to the land. I wouldn't need to be born. You know what I'm saying? The whole nother story would have happened. You go listen to that. When it came down to uh, uh, Puff, Biggie, J Jacob York, okay, and wanted to push Lil' Kim, and he coming to Lil' Kim. See how deep it go? Uh, uh, Jacob was swearing. He said, I can do this. I'm going to make it big in the industry. Da, 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 da. He said, yo, what are you going to do when Biggie dies? Please, instead of... I'm sorry. Go you good. He said, what are you going to do when Biggie dies? Right? Jacob York didn't understand that question, and then Biggie died. You know what I mean? And he ain't been big since. Because all that Junior Mafia, all that, I love it when you call me Big Papa. Niggas was calling Jacob York Big Papa. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it, it, it's playing real close. You're starting to see why I come in and all of this. Because I'm making it loud. Where well, you got 21 Savage and the rest of these people who big uh, 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 drill artists and all kinds of stuff in the industry. All these people who are associated closely with Pub, uh, uh, or, or P. Diddy. And you start seeing how deep they hands go into it. So let's get to it. Nas was calling uh, Jay-Z out or Jigga or uh, Sean out for um, um, his, his, his involvement with uh, the satanic cults, all right? Uh, Satanism, uh, Anton Levy, uh, Alistair Crowley, and pushing the Thelemite order on the people. And he had an issue with that. He said, why are you pushing this? And you came out uh, uh, up under Ansar Law, associated with the Sons of the Green Light. You was there. You saw the movement. Why, we put you on. And uh, Jay-Z started to disassociate himself and started rocking closer uh, with Puff and Biggie and the rest of them people who was called what? By no mistake, bad boys, right? Why would, we, why, would they, why would we call them that? Why would they call that? The bad boys. What did Tupac say? He said, we bad boy killers. He's telling you something. The same war in Revelation chapter 12, where you had Michael, who is like God, meaning that's what it means, who is like God, and his angels, his messengers, his rappers, his soldiers, all right, Michael. Who was called Michael? Um, which which teacher was called Michael? Dr. Melakazi York, <laughs> right? Dr. Right. Melakazi York was called Michael, the angel. They called him Michael, literally. And Pops had his own angels. The Neo Soul movement, Pops pushed that. He made that movement. India Ari, Erica Badu, all of that. He made that. They don't know that. You feel what I'm saying? So Nas came out. So hey, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. This series is to be continued, the voice of Uma York. Now, we're running a 10K fundraiser for the master teacher. We're trying to raise $10,000 by June 26th, which is the master teacher's birthday, right? If you want to help us out on that, what you would do is you would cash out Uma, the master teacher's daughter, right, at Uma's York LLC, right? Keep in mind, we working to get the master teacher out, and we need a couple funds to make a couple plays, right, on getting certain uh, things pushed through and moved around and certain uh, travel expenses to go and get certain things filed. So if you want to help us out and you got love for the master teacher, man, show us some love. Also, as well, if you want to uh, get some exchange for your donation what you would do is go to google type in www.umayork.com and go check out uma's clothing line she have a clothing line called royalty clothings by uma york right she got a lot of fly stuff on there she got shoes hats shirts uh lingerie and things for the women she got women and men's uh, clothes, women and men's shoes. She got a lot of uh, variety of things to pick from 
uh, stimulating around our ancient comedic side. So she got some fly shit. You're going to be seeing Young Elder rocking some of this shit uh, here soon. Right? So you want to go check her out, like I said, at www.umayork.com. And like I said, we're going to have the links and everything in the descriptions to our Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and the clothing line. Plus, we also going to have the cash app uh, in the descriptions. So if you want to get at us and show us some love on the fundraiser or you want to go and cop some of the, uh, the hot drip, right, show us some love. Peace. Wadoop.